see. Yeah. Do it all. Um, right, so back to you, Lual. How did you get them from the mean streets of South London to be, an, I mean, a basketball superstar, one of the best players in the world? Yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. Well, uh, I used to, I started here playing for Brixton, uh, Brixton Top Cats with Jimmy Rogers. And uh, the way I got to the U.S. was my sister, who's two years older than me, uh, she's very good at basketball, and uh, she got a scholarship. Um, and I was too young for my parents to let me go to the U.S. Um, so the only way my dad let me go was to go over and look after my sister. Uh, and she was two years older than me. Uh -huh. So I went over to the U.S. and I, uh, I played high school basketball. Uh, when I got there when I was 14, I played varsity. And I started uh, in varsity, which, you know, doesn't happen very often when you're that young. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I it played from the start. That you it, were, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, which was really great. But my coach had no idea that I could really play basketball. You know, he, he just took me in because, you know, to look after my sister. Yeah. Um, but it worked out well. After four years in high school in New Jersey, um, I, was, um, I got recruited by uh, Duke University. And uh, Duke is uh, a, a powerhouse when it comes to basketball. Right. Mm -hmm. One of the best schools of basketball. And um, I was at Duke for one year, and I was drafted as the seventh pick by uh, Chicago Bulls. Dream, the dream come true. But before all of that, and even before Britain, I mean, you escaped Sudan in civil war, didn't you? Ended up in Egypt as well, and over to Britain. What do you think would have happened to you if you'd stayed? In no, Sudan? I'm, uh, I'm very blessed. You know, very blessed and very lucky. Um, it's been a civil war in Sudan for you know over 25 years, uh -huh. and actually this year, uh, South Sudan just got their independence. Um, so it's been That's a long, and got. this is yeah. the, yeah, this is the flag that I have on my wrist. Uh -huh. uh, so it has been an amazing year, but um, I really, I, I, uh, we left Sudan when I was five years old. Um, and like you said, because of the war, uh, we left as refugees and we fled to Egypt. I was in Egypt for five years with my family and um, we were given a political asylum to come here as refugees yeah. uh, to London. Uh, since I was 10. So When's the know. movie coming out of your life? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's an incredible story. You've, no. done, you've done an awful lot, yeah. haven't you? I mean, you've even set up a foundation to help young people, um, and, and you've set them up in the places closest to your heart, I guess, such as Chicago, yes. Sudan, and here in the UK. Yes. Um, Obama even awarded you a humanitarian award for yes. it. So what exactly does the foundation do then? Well, the foundation, being a refugee myself, um, I just know how lucky I am for what I got and what I have now. So what I try to do is just give back. Uh, so we really focus on sports, um, education, and we also do a lot of things where, you know, we provide um, refugees with food and, uh, and shelter and things like that. Um, and the foundation, uh, you know, has been picking up. Uh, when I first started the foundation, um, I did a lot of things with other organizations to get going. Um, but now that we have the idea, we could really focus on the things that, you know, uh, yeah. we want to aim towards. So. Well, you are an incredible inspiration. I mean, you really have actually got some footage of you out in Sudan. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Here we go. Every one of you guys is capable of being somebody special. Maybe you'll be the president of this country, and one day you're going to lead us, and we're going to have a great country.